16 of the proposed new lots will be for residential use. These lots will range in size from 0.17 acres, which is 7,500 square feet, to 0.22 acres, which is 9,807 square feet. Minimum lot size for R2 is 7,500 7, square feet, so those lots meet all of our requirements. 
the remaining lot will be dedicated to establish a neighborhood mailbox and will consist of 0 0.10 acres, which is 4,281 square feet. This lot will require a 3,219 square foot lot size variance from the Board of Zoning Appeals. The proposed new lots are zoned R2, will be served by a proposed water line, a proposed sewer line, and existing hydrant. Two proposed city streets and would comply with all other requirements of subdivision regulations and zoning rules. Uh, we did confirm with Fire Chief Rock Dial that these first 16 lots are within the 1,000 feet required of the subdivision regulations, so they are good there. Um, and we have uh, Mr. Bartlett here in case you guys have any questions. Uh, I know that we do have some questions regarding uh, existing infrastructure, we'll get to that uh, once you guys. I have addressed Mr. Bartlett with any questions that you have. Are they uh, rental properties or are they purchase properties? Uh, for sale lots. Single family residential. Single family residential, yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's a really narrow street that's through there. <laughs> for all these, uh, all these buildings. I'm not sure Brian McMeans laid this out for us, so. I'm not sure of the answer to that. I, I think the proposed street is probably going to be a lot larger than the yeah, middle we'll street. <laughs> the middle street is hard to have. Two cars can meet on one. Two cars cannot meet on our street. Um, and, and you know, just according to our to our regulations with regards to new street construction, 50 foot right away, which is larger than Miller Street, with a 24 foot wide uh, asphalt surface, which is larger than the I believe that's 18 feet, if my eyes are telling me correctly. So it, it wouldn't be a larger street, it would be better. Um, I think, we, you know, Wayne Peak is here. Uh, and if you guys have questions regarding that, I'm sure you'd be happy to answer those. Established or, or how, will, how will that work? I'm not sure at this point. So. Okay, that's something that will need to be addressed by the final by the final plat is maintenance of the mailbox lot. You know, because it'll have to be you know have if it's got any green space, it'll have to have grass mowed and yeah. you know things of that nature. So uh, definitely will need to be addressed before final final plat. Uh, I have some questions for Christian, if, if you don't mind, Christian, regarding the uh, 
sewer infrastructure there. So, so Rocky and I and, and the, uh, the head of the water department, Jerry Bill Kennedy, met over there today. So we were just trying to get some of these concerns out of our way. And Jerry Dell led us to believe that that sewer line is not running on Middle Street. So he, he had like the sewer line was on Levy Street. And I know there's, it, it's showing on this drawing here, but I mean, we were standing there asking about sewer. And, uh, and so that, that will need to be addressed uh, in more depth. And Jerry Dell couldn't make it. You know, we asked him to be here. And uh, so, uh, that's going to be an issue, and uh, you know, in this street, you know, we want to be maintained uh, by the city. I'm assuming we want us to take this over, and so uh, the and we're you know this water runoff. So you know, we we're very concerned, you know, with the slope of the the property coming down, and I, and I know this is early, but this is questions that we want to see, you know, with the retention pond or. You know, where's this water? Where's this water going to go? I mean, it can't. It can't go back on the Miller Street. Uh, it, it can't have it. Uh, it has all that can stain, and, and that was concerns uh, that Mr. Peak had. You know, when we were talking about this earlier. So, you know, there's there's going to be some things that need to be worked out through this, and but definitely the sewer line is one of the biggest uh, upfront issues that we're going to be facing. Uh, yeah, we need to verify it's there. We need to verify it. Uh, and, you know, that's. Uh, like I said, Jerry, did we asked him to come tonight, but I mean, that, he told us that it is not there. He said those houses uh, on the north side of Miller Street are going down to Evans Street. And he said on, on uh, the other ones uh, on past that lot are not on the sewer. So are, that, are those lots using a use so, pump? Oh, septic tank. Oh, septic, oh, septic tank. So they're not using the <clears> sewer at all. So that's something we, we definitely, uh, we need to talk about, uh, you know, in, in, in more depth. And, um, I, I don't know why that's, that's drawn in there, but it, it, it does look like that he has a sewer there. Uh, but, the, you know, where that manhole is, that's showing uh, in front of uh, the uh, Matthew Ray uh, lot there, I don't believe that exists right there. In, in the road yeah. in, as a real manhole right yeah. there. Uh, now we were standing there today and Jerry Dell told us that was a, that was going to a water supply line. So and then, yeah, we yeah. saw the manhole. Yeah, and, and, and it is, there is a structure there. Yeah. Uh, but that's something that we will definitely be working on as soon as tomorrow. But if y'all will indulge me here, I mean, if you look up there on the screen, right there is what says is a manhole. And on the south side, of Miller Street right there. That's S for sewer. So sounds like it needs so to there's be there. It's either I mean there's definitely confusion because I, I mean we were there today. We were there today discussing this trying to trying to get our decks in a row for, for the evening, you know, and to know what's going on. And Jerry Dell said where are they getting sewer at? So so that's something that you know we'll, we'll look at in more depth tomorrow. Mr. Uh, Bartlett, has anything been considered for retention ponds? Because it looks like most of the property is taken up on the gallery. Yeah, it's, uh, Clinton Engineering will start hopefully tomorrow on their engineering electrical lab out there. Mm -hmm. What we need to do for mm -hmm. You'd have to build it up a lot to get it to roll back on toward the hill, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so, water just stands in there and seeps out behind you. That's the way you get going. Mm -hmm. It's just a hole. Mm -hmm. you, know, you get water and it just stands there because it seeps down to the ground. Uh, um, Mr. Bartlett, also, you know, we have a stormwater permit that you have to get here in Livingston anytime you move dirt over an acre, which you're doing here. Uh, so, Christian, have you guys talked about that? No, that's the first time I met him was this today. Yeah. Um, I, I, to me, I'm not comfortable moving forward with this until all of our issues have been addressed. Mm -hmm. um, you're, you're a ways away from being able to sell lots here anyway. I think the sewer issue needs to be addressed. I think uh, I would request that you withdraw the subdivision plat until that is. You don't have to, but if you do, if you do leave it up for consideration, I will recommend that we deny the plat. I'd also add, I would ask Mr. Peek about the road and if that can be enlarged. We'll 
the houses are pretty close to the road already, um, along Miller Street there. And that's going to have to be enlarged quite a bit. What's the right way up through there, Wayne? Uh, it's it's 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. Consideration of final lot, line adjustment plan for properties located on East 7th Street and High Tech Drive, evidence cooperation adjustment. Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman, this is one we saw a couple weeks ago. This is uh, Adam Corporation. This is for the development over there on High Tech Drive and 7th Street. They requested that this lot be rezoned, and I asked, uh, I asked uh, Kim Avery, who's here representing Adam Corporation, that in order to rezone this lot, they, they would have to get at least 15,000 square feet because they're wanting to subdivide it into two proposed new lots. And so this would get in 15,000 square feet where you could subdivide it. And basically what they're doing is this lot to the east is gonna be getting smaller by a couple thousand square feet. It's not very much, but it's larger than five acres, so it's not under our jurisdiction. But this is the this is the lot in question, and so he's getting it to fifteen thousand, so we can send it by at two seventy five hundred square foot lots. That's the purpose of this adjustment. Structure is going to need to be in place before you can officially divide that property. Because your frontage will have to be on Seventh Street for for the for the eastern lot anyway. Right. <clears throat> the western lot you can come off a of high tech. Um, but anyway, just so you know, Mr. Chairman, I recommend we accept the line adjustment. <coughs> Motion by JJ and second by Robert. We we'll go ahead and approve the line adjustment plan. Okay. All for it. Say aye. 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 And two carries. Thank you. Okay. Other business. We have other business. We have any? I have no Mr. Chairman. Christian. Christian? No other business, sir. Anybody else? Okay. We'd like to thank our park heads for being here tonight. Yes, absolutely. 